Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I'm here with the aim gain GT and SX, the golden and evolution cup card that you're going to be using to uh, complete those cups. And one of the toughest challenges all around in this is the speed trap. Okay, there's a 238 mile per hour speed trap that is at the end of the evolution cup. Running the times aside, I mean, you're going to need a pretty fully upgraded car to run the evolution cup either way, but I want to give you the minimum upgrades needed to at least get through uh, the Evolution Cup's 230 mile per hour. To get that done, you don't actually need a fully maxed car. In fact, you could be missing three stage sixes, including uh, turbo and intake. What you really want are four out of five here, and definitely nitrous. Nitrous is really important to push the mile per hour beyond what the car normally can do. So nitrous plus three is basically what you're looking for when it comes to beating uh, the speed traps here. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the various stage sixes being removed and how that affects your ability to get through on four stage sixes. First of all, every one of these stage sixes add a little bit to the mile per hour. So the tune doesn't really have to change. It's all about the overall effect of losing a particular stage six. 4.0 nitrous, 3.81 final drive, which is, I keep saying, put the final gear to where you want the car to kind of run 238. Well, the dyno says 238, 771 in the uh, half mile, but only a 218 in the quarter mile. That will not hit. So transmission actually becomes an issue if you don't have it because 218 is a little too far from 238. While the car does beat dyno by about 16, 17 miles per hour, Pushing 20 miles per hour beyond what it normally can do is kind of, it's really asking a lot of it. So we're going to go ahead and do this and see what we end up with, but I don't think this is going to make it. Now, what you want to do is get to 7th relatively quickly, okay, 6, 7 in nitrous, and then 8, and the real issue is whether it can hit out, and it did. Look at that. Look at that transmission. Transmission missing, 238.83. Actually, this is one of the easier ones. How about that? Okay, so I take it back. Ignored, I actually managed to get 20 mile per hour over, almost 20 mile per hour. 20, 19 mile, 19.4 mile per hour over what the dyno says in the quarter mile. That's pretty cool. So transmission actually didn't hurt us by being missing. Now, I know the other three, I've tested them all. Um, you know, you could be missing engine, no problem. It'll, it'll still do it. You could miss uh, body and tire as well, can still do it. It just relatively easy to relative difficulty. But as you can see, did the job right there. We're going to do one run with each one missing just to show you they all can do it. Uh, same tune, no change in tune, just change in the part and using the same driving technique, which is short shifting all the way to seventh, hitting nitrous and deep good kind of to nine. You want the nitrous to kind of run out in ninth gear, right at the end of the track. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and boom, 238 miles per hour. So that is basically what I've been doing to get 238 off of the four stage sixes. Uh, now you can try it with five, obviously. If you have five, but you have, turbo and intake, it probably still works. I just know that you can do it on four. Um, you know, we're not going to try every single combination. That gets a little ridiculous, but let's go ahead and do one without body, and then we'll do one without tire. They're all the same average difficulty. So they're running from 218 mile per hour in the quarter on dyno up to about 225 in the quarter on dyno. So this is a 225. So theoretically, this should be easier. Let's see if it is. And then, of course, with tire missing, it goes back down to 222, so it should be harder, but we know you can do it on 218. What's the big deal about 222? Uh, now, let's go ahead and do the same thing, launch, and then basically short shifting, fourth gear, I mean 4,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. Well, I kind of shifted a little late there, but it didn't really matter, but five, between four and a half to five and a half for every shift up to seventh, and then nitrous and then deep good and you should have no problem getting it, okay? So the shift pattern is important. If you're playing with different shift patterns, uh, you may not hit 238, you may hit 236, you may hit 234. So hitting nitrous too early definitely hurts you as well, so you don't wanna do that. Um, 
make sure that you're doing it where uh, you're short shifting two sevens, hitting nitrous, then running deep good seven, eight, and ultimately letting it run out in ninth gear. So here's the one without tire. Or with tire, without body, I, I can't, I'm, I'm getting lost over here because I'm cycling through too quick. But same same exact shift pattern, same exact strategy, it works. Um, it doesn't really make a difference with all of these. So four, 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 five, six, sevens gear, nitrous, deep good, deep good. And that's kind of kind of close there. It might be very tight, but it made it, okay? So all these... Stage six is missing one. As long as you got nitrous and three of the other ones, you can be missing any one of the one. It wouldn't make that much of a difference. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can use two to replace one, which generally is the case. For example, if I'm missing, um, say, another one here that's not very strong, for example, body, but I get turbo and intake, so now you have five versus four, it should still do the job. I mean, turbo and intake individually doesn't do as much, but now you're talking about a whole extra stage six, compensating for one missing stage six, it should still play out just fine. 229 mile per hour certainly is much higher than any of the other ones we've seen so far, and I'm gonna do one run with it. And then we're gonna go look at the Golden Cup uh, speed trap without any stage sixes. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, seventh gear, nitrous, deep good, deep good, eighth, no problem. Okay, very easy, no stress at all. All right, so now that we've seen all that, let's go look at the Golden uh, Cup version of the speed trap. I recall that being only a 206 mile per hour, so that's very, very easy to hit with uh, without any stage sixes. You're going to use the same tuning strategy, same shifting strategy. The only difference is you're running it without any stage six. And in fact, I believe that particular speed trap is to get a stage six part. And if that is, if I recall correctly, that is a 206 mile per hour speed trap. All you're going to do is the same thing, except you're going to adjust the final drive. So ninth gear ends at wherever you want it to run, which is uh, 206, right? So this is 222. So you can go even more aggressive, 213. You can go even more, 209. I mean, uh, you know, 206 is like 4. Point, oh, whoops, too much. So like 4.48 or 4.6 should be like a 2. Point, oh, no, 4.2. 4.2. No, 4.1. Oh, my God. I'm really screwing this one up. All right, 206.7 says 206 in the quarter mile by dyno, right? So it can definitely do it. Um, and here's the uh, tire setting right there. Now, let's just say that you want to hit a little higher and you think you can do it. I'll put it to about 216.0, and let's just see how far we can push it. Because you know you're gonna get beyond 206, because even Dino says you can do it. If you're more worried, put it to 4.4, run it, and let it hit ninth gear, and you get that 206. But here, I'm going to try to actually do more than 206 because I think I can. Okay, 5, 6. Now, this one, you're going to shift and use nitrous in eighth because you only have two seconds worth. You only have two seconds worth. That's one gear less than the other one, and I almost hit 216. Okay, so... 206 is no problemo with this. You could be missing a few um, epic fusions, in fact, and you can still make it. All you have to do, again, is you can put it to the more aggressive 4.4 um, O final drive. And then what you're going to do is you're going to run it and use nitrous again in the final two gears rather than the final three gears. So that is your Golden Cup and Evolution Cup speed trap uh, techniques and tune. Let's see if this is going to be enough to get you through. I mean, if you're having problems, remember, these cups are meant to require a certain level of upgrades, so you do need upgrades. Uh, if you're too short on fusions, you're missing too many parts on the stage six, 
Evolution Cup, it's just not going to happen. You, you have to pull some keys, crates, or wait a few days, wait till the last day, see if you gain enough stage sixes to make it through. But overall, I think um, from a speed trap standpoint, this is not a super, super difficult uh, Golden or Evolution Cup. If you have any questions about what I'm doing uh, in these videos, feel free to ask them in the comments. If this helps you, do leave me a like so I know that it helped you. Uh, this way, also, it helps YouTube push this to more viewers and they can potentially benefit from it. If you like my channel would like to know when I put up videos like this, then subscribe so you can get the notifications. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.